Hold on, what am I doing? I can't use this sound. I get my SS suit if I do. Back to regularly scheduled programming. Lovely being here again all. I'm still undecided if I need a voiceover for, th for those videos or not since I'm the only one watching them and I hate how I sound but hey, Friends is one of my favorite shows and I just have to talk about this spread. I'm starting by saying that I was there for the first airing of the show on TV. Okay, maybe a couple of years late since it took a while for it to come to Bulgaria but it was still in the 90s. So all you newfangled fans from Netflix just step aside please. <laughs> I'm kidding. I've been waiting to do this spread for ages. Originally I had it planned for May, then for September, then I wasn't sure if I should do it, if I don't do the spreads for my other favorite shows like The X-Files on The Big Bang Theory, but at some point I was like, you know what, fudge this, I'm doing it now. Now being August, obviously. So since I don't do extensive to-do lists in my Bujo anymore, having moved the endless to-do lists on my Microsoft to-do, I started doing two weeks per spread. Um, the space is enough for my events and personal to-do since, you know, the world is still weird. Who is your favorite character from Friends? For me, it has to be Chandler and then Phoebe. Although I do identify myself more like a Monica, because eh, I can be obsessive about things. The second bi-weekly spread I made more varied using still the same color palette. The doodles you will see are really, really iconic things from the show, like more turkey Mr. Chandler. <laughs> or if you prefer the turkey Monica had on her head when Chandler told her he loved her. The smelly cat, obviously, Phoebe's guitar. The salmon skin rolls, or if you prefer Ross's unagi. 
the message board from the guy's apartment, the dice Monica threw in Vegas when she and Chandler almost got married. The porcelain dog from the guy's apartment, the football from that Thanksgiving when the Netherlands briefly loved Chandler, woohoo, Phoebe's grandmother's cookie, or allegedly, Chandler's awesome 80s hair, amazing, uh, the couch, duh, and uh, Joey's awesome Michiban blue lipstick, I mean, how could I not include the lipstick? I haven't done a line a day spread since last year, um, since I wasn't really using it, but I really, really felt like I need one this month. I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe it's because I totally expect to be shut out of my grad school once and for all. Who knows? I just felt like I'll need an outlet and let's see what I do with it. Back to the spreads though. My absolute favorite has to be the mood and habit tracker. Uh, so I try to make it look like one of those hipster blackboard menus in a funky coffee bar and I think it turned out really nicely. The best part about it, instead of coffees and foods, the items are some of my favorite quotes from the show per character and instead of prices, the season and episode numbers. I might just be a bit too proud of how cool it came out, but hey, it makes me happy. The mood tracker is a recreation from Rachel's trifle, uh, and the raspberries are the ones that will be colored in my mood. And the reference comes from a picture I found on Pinterest from Rachel Reger. I hope I pronounced her name right. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. Straightforward and brings a lot of happiness. Thanks for stopping by, and till September.